What's up you guys, it's your boy Pretty Boy Floyd. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my favorite moisturizer from Blue Atlas. I'm gonna be reviewing their classic one and they just came out with a new, with a new scent, the coconut and apricot. Um, so their classic one, I've reviewed it in the past before and said it was a 10 out of 10. And to this day, it is one of my favorite moisturizers. Um, depending on my skin, uh, I like to keep moisturizers and things in rotation. So for example, if my skin is being like super dry and like irritated from, um, from products, then I will go with the Zo Skin Health Hydrating Cream. But if my skin is acting how it normally does and I'm off of the hydroquinone and tretinoin, my skin typically likes to go back to an oily state. And that's like my natural skin type, which is oily. You guys are gonna notice this too, once you guys get into skincare, man, um, is that what I've realized is skincare is like a season. Like there's certain seasons to it. So. Three out of the four months, I, I'm actually on hydroquinone and tretinoin, um, which like makes me flake and peel and um, gives me like super dry and tight skin. Um, for something like that, I have to switch to Zo Skin Health's hydrating cream and I have to like mix it with Vaseline. And for those four months, um, I have to just moisturize my skin like constantly. I'm talking like two, three times a day. So my skin is like extremely dry. Now, the Blue Atlas face moisturizer is a very good moisturizer when I am off those products because during that time when I have to like moisturize my skin heavy, um, I have to deal with my face looking like super greasy and shiny. When I'm off those products and I switch back to just using tretinoin at night, my skin starts to behave better and it's not flaking anymore, it's not tight anymore. I can then switch to a moisturizer that isn't so hydrating and that isn't so like, you know, gonna like leave my skin like super greasy. With this moisturizer right here, it is good for all skin types, even dry, normal, or oily. The reason why I'm saying for dry skin is because my dry skin is like, it's, it's from products. It's not like, that's not how my skin naturally is. If you naturally have dry skin, it'll be good for, if somebody who has normal skin, it will be good for, and especially for people who have oily skin. Um, and coming from somebody who has oily skin, I can tell you, um, you're like very scared to put on moisturizer because you don't want your skin to look more oily. So obviously, you know, you wouldn't go for the Zo Skin Health Hydrating Cream um, if your skin is like naturally oily. Um, you would want something like this, which is their, um, their face moisturizer, which leaves your skin moisturized, but it gives you a matte look. And it doesn't like make your skin feel greasy or like too heavy. Um, it makes your skin feel like nice and tight in a good way, but not like nice and tight like your skin is like flaking and peeling. Um, so they have a lot of hydrating ingredients including mango sea butter, seaweed extract, and also they have a brightening ingredient which is vitamin C, which of course is gonna help out with hyperpigmentation. And they actually just sent me their new uh, coconut and apricot moisturizer. Um, which smells amazing by the way. They both smell really good. Um, if you guys ever have a chance to uh, get this moisturizer, the scent is amazing. Um, a lot of times with skincare products, uh, they can have like a funny smell to them, um, especially the ones that like, are like, that have like prescription strength in them and that are like prescribed to you. Um, they can have a funny smell to them, but, uh, but this one um, smells great. It has like a very like masculine smell to it. All the ingredients are vegan and cruelty free, so if you're a vegan, this would be great for you. Um, also, there are no artificial ingredients in there. There's all natural ingredients. So yeah, this product is great for somebody who has dry skin because typically um, when you have dry skin, your skin doesn't necessarily like have like a, uh, a radiance to it. Um, light doesn't bounce off of it as good, kind of like how my skin is like kind of bouncing off of, you know, my studio lights and whatnot. Sometimes your dry skin can, can lack that radiance and having this moisturizer can um, bring some of that shine back and, you know, kind of give you a nice little highlight here and there. Um, and somebody with normal skin, um, again, it's not going to make your skin dry or make it oily. Um, if you have normal skin, that's, that's great, but <laughs> you usually don't have any problems. Um, 
but with oily skin again if your skin is like very oily what it will do is actually mattify your skin um, and it's not going to you know make it extra you know moisturized and oily but yeah if you have oily skin it's gonna leave your skin matte you don't have to worry about um, your skin looking super oily um, also it won't clog your pores I've tried this moisturizer um, like for a long time now and I haven't had any issues with it it hasn't given me any breakouts or anything like that um, so no clogged pores with this so basically how you want to use this moisturizer is how you use any other moisturizer day and night and apply it to your face and neck um, you guys don't forget about your neck too uh, you have to moisturize your neck just don't moisturize this but actually get underneath your neck and even behind your neck as well um your neck is actually like the first sign of aging and that's because a lot of people neglect you know their neck uh they don't moisturize their neck and they don't pay enough attention to it so definitely definitely guys like when you guys moisturize make sure to pay attention to your neck um and you just want to take a dime sized amount if you're somebody who has dry skin you may want a little bit more somebody with oily skin you may want a little bit less it's definitely up to you uh it's trial and error you know just just trial and error just experiment with how much works for you so yeah so thank you blue atlas again for sending me these two moisturizer uh they're classic moisturizer they're coconut apri apricot apricot i don't know how to pronounce it correctly but um these two will be down in the link below they also have a fragrance free uh moisturizer for anybody who has an allergy or who is irritated to fragrances that's a really good option as well um so if you're somebody who may have eczema or an allergy to skincare fragrances they also have a fragrance free version so that was pretty nice to um to look at that and see that um, but these two right here are definitely a good deal. Uh, again, the link will be down in the description below. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.